Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nerd News. I'm your host. Today, I want to talk to you about Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, allegedly, we could have got uh, a Larian Studio game that would have been from Ultima or Fallout. The full this is by uh, Game Radar, written by Jasmine Wilson. Baldur's Gate 3 Game Studio CEO says that if he couldn't make a D&D &D game, Fallout or Ultima were the only other RPG license that he would have considered instead. There's not a lot to choose from. It felt like there was a glass ceiling that we wouldn't be able to break through unless we had a AAA production values. It's hard to imagine any other studio delivering Baldur's Gate 3, but Larry and CEO Sweet Vicky said that it was this property was just one of three household RPG games he was unable to work on. It would have been Ultima, it would have been Fallout, it would have been Baldur's Gate. There was not a lot to choose from. He tells Edge 400 about the big names he thought Larian needed to elevate it on an industry stage. Once upon a time, Larian never did get its hands on the Bethesda franchise, but the rich DD setting of the store goes for some ample opportunity to further the studio's ambitions. Following the shutdown of the original developer, Black Isle Studios, the popular Baldur's Gate license was sitting untouched. With D&D publisher was of the Coast. It's one of those IPs that, you know, a lot of people want to work on, so it would be great for attracting other people to the studio. Explains Vicky of his reasoning. At the time, I felt like there was a glass ceiling that we wouldn't be able to break through unless we had a AAA production values, budget, marketing, and all of the AAA things. Elsewhere in the interview, Vicky discussed the impact of these production values and how they fitted into the game's pipeline, particularly when it came to cinematics from where I was sitting. Coming back to my strategic vision for Larian, Cinematics made perfect sense. If we were going to bring a game like Original Sin 2 to larger crowds, we would need to have AAA production values, whatever that takes, because it's only then that we were going to discover there was a market for this type of game. If the and if the myriad of awards, nominations, and accolades that Baldur's Gate 3 has received in the last year alone are any indication we've seen that the market for this type of game is well and truly thriving. Um I would love to see a a Fallout or, or I actually have no experience with the Ultima franchise. I'm a big RPG nerd, so um, if anybody watching or listening um, has any suggestions on what would be a good uh, you know way to introduce myself to the Ultima license, um, please, I'd, I'd love to hear some suggestions. As far as Fallout, I'm a I'm a well, this is my YouTube channel is a well known. Fallout love channel on you know, doing the Fallout Five countdown and all, but I I play I play a Fallout One or Two style RPG with modern you know iterations and stuff like a a uh, interplay level Fallout game, um, especially if Larian did it. So, oh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you your time and your listenership. If you want to support the show, you can do so at himedia.gg slash tip. A dollar a month is a boon to my mental health and you get exclusive access to, and you get exclusive perks as well as early access videos, exclusive videos, journal entries and more, all service through our Discord. Pay however you want. And you can pay as little as a dollar. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for your support. I appreciate you, your time, and your listenership, if you want to, if you want to join the community, please do so at himedia.gg/discord. We'd love to have you, and I will see you guys next time.